Hi, greetings. This is uh, Brian Fields, amateur radio call sign W9CR. And uh, <clears throat> my, uh, my throat is a little bit hoarse tonight. I'm just getting over some flu. And uh, I have something that's come up here. Somebody's asked me about this, and I'm going to show you how to build one. This is a uh, Motorola CDM1550, as uh, you've seen from my other videos. But one of the things these support is flashing via this port right here, the microphone port. Now that's actually a 10 conductor port uh, that Motorola uses, but uh, an RJ45, a, a normal one, will typically fit in there. And I'll show you here what we've built. Move this out of here. Um, and importantly, let me show you this RJ45 first and foremost. If you notice, this RJ45 has a little bit of a slot. Let me see if I can center this a little bit better right there next to uh, pin number eight and right there so it'll fit inside there without crushing those extra two pins um, and the confusing thing here is about Motorola I'll show you a little schematic I built up and all I have is a RJ45 jack over here that a typical programming cable such as this pro plugs into I actually demoed this by just connecting a couple extra wires there. I'm going to re-terminate that, of course. Um, but this is a, uh, it's a USB programming cable. Let me move it over here. Just a standard one. It's a prolific-based one. you got to make certain you use the right driver, otherwise it won't work. Uh, for flashing, it doesn't matter, but for CPS, it does for some reason. The FTDI ones work uh, markedly better as well, though, but prolific's cheap, even the knockoff ones. So, a um, little diagram I drew up here, and you know, mind my bad writing, but you have the, the jack here, which I've put together. This is a jack, RJ45 jack right here, um, and comes in here, and you only have two pins. I use a, what's called bus plus or a data pin. That's transmit and receive data that gets multiplexed onto one pin, and then ground. That's the only thing that needs to be hooked up to the jack. On this side of the radio, You'll notice between uh, pin uh, 3 and 8, 8 is the filtered A plus voltage, so it's 12 volts. And this is the boot slash PTT line. When it goes low, it's a uh, PTT. When it goes high, it's, uh, and uh, when it gets connected to A plus, it throws the radio into bootstrap mode. So that's why it's important to keep that uh, stray voltage off your PTT line. Uh, in normal applications. Um, so all we do is on the plug side here we put a little switch in there and I'll show you how I've rigged this up. This is a uh, little standard, what do they call these things, keystone jacks for you know Cat5. I just simply have a old piece of Cisco rollover cable here and I've terminated this uh, onto uh, pin, uh, you can see right there, pin 2 and pin 5 straight through, which is our uh, bus plus and ground, respectively. That's the only thing that really has to go through to the radio. And then because this plugs into the radio, I've taken these two pins here and gone to a switch that I've just used a little, little dab of crazy glue and put on the side there. I'm going to, of course, heat shrink all this together. But this is how you can take and make yourself a normal flashing cable for um, a CDM series radio. And, you know, as you can see, it's a very, very basic schematic here. I'll put some information on my wiki about it. Uh, possibly I'll, I'll redraw this other than just my crude uh, drawing here. But that's all there is to it in a nutshell. And um, if you really wanted to, and I'm thinking about doing this, is making an adapter that, you know, this would plug into. And then I could program a regular handheld with it as well and use it as a handheld. Um, on a handheld, you have to use a, a, another type of, you have to ground a particular pin. Um, and of course, you can upgrade these through the uh, the accessory port. Let me show you that here on the radio. That's this port right here. Um, but uh, that's, I mean, you can do it. I've done it. Uh, it works. Um, but the RJ45 is just so much easier. And the nice thing is you don't need a special RJ45, or technically it's an RJ50 jack for this. Um, so that's it. Anyways, uh, 73 is till later. This is... Uh, Brian Fields, amateur radio call sign, W9CR. Good night.